Main article. Rescue of Garm Bel Iblis. I have a message from Master Ram Kota for the Senator. The Senator is unavailable at the moment. The entire city has been overrun by criminals. Starkiller and Labot with the successful destruction of the Star Destroyer shipyard, word of revolution was beginning to spread. Ram Kota managed to set up a meeting with Garm Bel Iblis of Corellia on Cloud City. Bel Iblis was a firebrand in the Senate who absolutely opposed both Emperor Palpatine and his new order, and thus he wished to discuss an alliance with Starkiller. Upon arrival at Cloud City, they found it overrun by criminals. Starkiller made contact with Labot, the city's chief administrator, who informed him that Garm Bel Iblis was attempting to negotiate with the leader of the criminals, the Mandalorian Chopper Natimo. Kota encouraged confronting Chopper as a way of proving his worth to Bel Iblis. As Starkiller made his way into Cloud City, he was quickly confronted by Chopper underlings, though they were no match for his power. Making short work of the mercenaries, he ascended to one of the rooftop landing platforms and destroyed one of Chopper's dropships. While Labot and the Cloud City guards secured the area, Starkiller moved on. As he crossed a large, circular platform, Starkiller was ambushed by a group of Mandalorian jetpackers. He manages to defeat them, though with difficulty. Cutting his way up to one of the rooftop walkways, Starkiller fought alongside Cloud City security forces against a massed force of mercenaries. With Starkiller's help, the mercs were quickly dealt with, though the security team did suffer casualties. Clearing the rest of the building, Starkiller approached Labot and asked for Bel Iblis' specific location, only to be informed that the senator had been captured by a bounty hunter named Cleef, one of Chopar's underlings. Knowing that the senator's survival was important to his mission, Starkiller had no choice but to rescue Bel Iblis. Fighting his way to Cleef's location, Starkiller confronted him, only to learn that he had handed Bel Iblis over to Chopper. Cleef himself drew his blade and activated his two heavy tactical fighting unit droids. Starkiller managed to disable the droids, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cleef. The Gungan was a surprisingly able vibroblade duelist, though ultimately no match for Starkiller. Starkiller cut the blade off the weapon before grasping the hapless bounty hunter in a force grip and dropping him off the side of the building. Having dealt with Cleef, Starkiller contacted Juno and ordered her to prime the ship for launch in case he required a quick exit. Fighting his way to Chopar's location, Starkiller came face to face with the criminal ringleader and demanded for the release of Bel Iblis. Chopper was glad for Starkiller's arrival, believing the Sith assassin to be a Jedi, and thus he was quite eager to confront him. Declaring that Bel Iblis talks had failed, Chopper and two Mandalorian underlings attacked the apprentice. Starkiller managed to defeat the jetpackers, but Chopper donned his helmet and summoned his basilisk war droid. Running circles around the behemoth to dodge its fire, Starkiller managed to leap onto its back, fighting the mounted Chopper while using force lightning to block the droid's attempts to knock him off. Leaping off of the war droid, Starkiller telekinetically slammed it against a wall and disabled its internal functions. He then wrenched it to the ground as it exploded. An enraged Chopper charged out of the wreckage, eager for blood. While the Mandalorian was an impressive fighter with his double-pronged Electrostaff, he was ultimately no match for Starkiller's Sith combat training, and the Force Adept cut him down. As Labot and the Cloud City security forces rushed in and secured the area, Starkiller approached Bel Iblis about joining the rebellion. Bel Iblis agreed, leaving with Labot with the assurance that he would contact Kota soon.